بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله على النبي الأمي برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين In the beginning of the second volume of the Hayat al-Sahaba there's an amazing chapter about the importance of Mashura the etiquettes of Mashura and the purpose of Mashura One of the incidents is that of Sahaba radiyallahu anhum being attacked by all the forces of Batil around Medina Munawwara. The Yahud of Khaybar, the Mushrikeen of Makkah, Quraysh, and Ghatfan. And this situation came upon Medina Munawwara. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa gathered his Sahaba radiyallahu anhum and he made Mashura with them. Now imagine, this is such a beautiful aspect mentioned in the quran Kareem. Allah mentions this in Surah Ali Imran, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, after the setback that was faced in Uhud, where Allahu Akbar, where a certain post was left, and Khalid bin Walid, who wasn't yet a Muslim, later he became, what a great Sahabi, radiallahu anhu, with his maneuver, he found an opening behind the Muslims, through the mountain pass, and he attacked the Muslims from the rear. And prior to that, those who were given that post left that position. And a victory was turned into a loss, and a severe loss. And such a suffering Muslims face. 70 Sahaba were shuhada, radiallahu anhum, 70 widows, orphans. After that, Allah says in the Quran, fa'fu anhum, O my Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, pardon, make maf to them who left that post. وَاسْتَغْفِرْ لَهُمْ And make istighfar for the ummah. And still make mashura. And make mashura. In chapter 39 of the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks of the qualities of a da'i. Chapter, 30, chapter, chapter, 40, chapter 41 and then 42. Ten qualities of a da'i in Surah Hamim Fussilat. Starting with, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا رَبُّنَ اللَّهِ ثُمَّ اسْتَقَامُوا this is the ayah about remaining with istiqama and dying with iman. Now, interestingly, this is verse number 29, 30, 31. Chapter 41, verses 29 onward. Allah speaks about dying with iman, with istiqama. The next discussion is 10 qualities of a da'i. And what an amazing lesson. To die with iman, we need to inculcate these 10 qualities in us. Number one being dawat. The other is good deeds, and the other is humbleness, humility, and, uni- and hum- humility and unity. And then the next discussion is akhlaq and character. Akhlaq in the discussion of a da'i, the highlight. Wala tastawil hasana wala sayyia. Allah says, good actions and bad actions can never be equal. Someone ill treats you. React in kindness. Idfa, repel his disrespect with kindness and akhlaq. فَإِذَا الَّذِي بَيْنَكَ وَبَيْنَهُ عَدَاوَةً Then there's the one who has hostility and animosity. When we show akhlaq, كَأَنَّهُ وَلِيٌّ حَمِيمٌ He will become a bosom friend, a close friend. Then Allah says, وَمَا يُلَقَّاهَا إِلَّا الَّذِينَ صَبَرُوا None receives this quality of akhlaq with dawat, with a'mal, with humility and unity, except those who bear patience. Yulaqaha means also, this quality comes with great sacrifice. وَمَا يُلَقَّاهَا إِلَّا ذُو حَظٍ عَظِيمٍ And one who receives this quality is very, very fortunate. Who is saying he's fortunate? Allah is saying he's fortunate. Then Allah says, definitely shaitan will inject dissension. وَإِمَّا يَنزَغَنَّكَ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ Verily, when shaitan does that, فَاسْتَعِذْ billah. Seek Allah's assistance, Allah's protection. Because Allah hears and Allah knows. And then the Quran discusses, what does a da'i speak about? Allah's greatness, Allah's glory. Next surah is named. So these are qualities of a da'i. And the next surah highlights another very pertinent quality of a da'i. And a mu'min. Because every mu'min is a da'i. That's in the Quran. Surah Yusuf, ayat number 110. Allah says, tell them, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, this is my way. I am an inviter to Allah with wisdom, with insight. I am an inviter to Allah. And my whole ummah are inviters to Allah. Ana wa man ittaba'ani. So in the next surah, chapter 42, it's named Shura. Wa amruhum Shura baynahum. 
That's why Hazrat Abu Huraira radiyallahu anhu says that ma ra'aytu ahadan akthara mashuratan li ashabihi min Rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I've never seen anyone make so much of mashura like Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Hazrat Abdullah bin Abbas radiyallahu anhu said Allah and his Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam doesn't need mashura. But Allah made mashura a rahmah for my ummah. And those that make mashura lam yu'dam rushdan they'll never be void of righteousness and those that neglect this beautiful quality lam yu'dam anaan it'll be but distress and difficulty so allah give us this beautiful quality alhamdulillah allah taala accept our whole community newcastle to serve the entire natal and the whole world inshallah by making khidma in the ijtima every one of us whatever position allah subhanahu wa taala gives us Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whatever taqaza one takes, whatever, when kana fil, fil saqa, kana fil saqa, whatever position one takes, one has to do it for Allah's pleasure sincerely. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves that quality. Whatever taqaza a person takes, he does it to the best of his ability. This was the quality of sahaba kiram, radiyallahu ta'ala anhum.